What is up my dudes and dudettes? I'm so pumped right now. Um, I finally did it. I bought a camera. I bought a body, I bought a lens, I bought a bag and a memory card because you know that's that's what you need for a camera to get to get yourself started. Like I was going to buy a particular camera and then I decided to spend a little bit more and get the camera that I really wanted. Um, and I'm really excited. The only downside is the, the store that I went to, to to buy said camera from. I'm sorry, this framing is probably really bad because I'm paying attention to the road. I'm being safe, you know. Um, and there's someone filming right in front of me. Look at this. I don't know if I caught that or not, but there was someone filming with a gimbal or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, I bought a camera. I'm pumped. The only downside is that they didn't have the actual camera and lens and all that. Um, at the store, so now I have to travel from where I am currently located into the Perth CBD to collect said camera. Um, and then Taylor and I are going to go out for dinner and, well, a, a very early dinner, and go see the Black Klansman tonight. So I'm, I'm, I'm pumped for that. I'm pumped for spending my weekend learning how to use my camera. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to head into the city. I'll see you all very soon. We'll do an unboxing. It'll be fun. Let's get into it. So I got the camera after coming into the city. I'm super pumped. These transitions has been like no B-roll filmed. I don't, I don't even care. I'm just so excited. I'm going to get my butt home. Uh, it's like 20 past three in the afternoon for me. Our film is at six and we want to do food beforehand. So... I don't know how I'm going to go unboxing and stuff. Like, I'll see if I can get it done before we have to leave. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see you back home in the office and we'll get, we'll get, we'll do some unboxing. All right. See ya. All right. So I finally did it. I bought a camera. Um, I'm really pumped. I'm back in the office, obviously. Um, the acoustics are horrible because I have no soundproofing in here. So you will have to bear do. Um, yeah, so I, I finally got around to buying a camera. I'm so excited because upgrade time, and this is like 12 months coming. I stopped the vlog because um, no real reason. Like, I just didn't feel, <sighs> I just, I felt really bummed out. I was like, what am I doing? But you know what? Like I said in the last video, I'm back. We're going to do this. And this is, uh, this whole channel is basically going to be me uh, getting into photography and videography. So if you're into that kind of stuff, um, let's do it. I've got a few ideas for um, chasing creative and speaking to other creative people, but that's another thing. Either way, videography, photography, that's what we're doing. So what did I buy? I, you know, this is going to come with, you know, some kind of like understandables and kind of a bit of controversy. I don't know. Like a few people are like, oh, you should have got this, you should have got that, whatever. I made the choice for certain reasons, and this is what I went with. The EOS Canon 6D Mark II. Um, the 6D Mark II was, the re the reason I got it is because there's no such thing as like a perfect camera, or at least within my budget there's not, um, for everything I want to be able to do. Now, I want to be able to do videography, and I want to be able to do photography, so I needed something that could do both. I wanted something that I could work with quickly because I have limited hours given I work a 60 hour week and I wanted to be able to not have to worry so much about um, having to basically do any editing and um, post grading and stuff like that. If I can get really good quality stuff out of the camera and not have to worry too much about post production, that would be really good. I mean, there's some, been some downsides of people saying it doesn't have great dynamic range with the log so you can really bring those colors out. But the skin tones and the color science behind Canon and what it does in camera is a good enough look. It's a look that I really like, so I'm going to run with that. Next thing is going for a full size uh, or a full frame rather than a cropped sensor um, was a big one for me for that depth, that, that you know wider angle, the depth of field that I want to capture. Um, that low light capability um, that maybe I wouldn't get in because I was tossing up between the ADD as well. Um, and I moved, I forced myself up to the ADD. Um, as a result, I wasn't able to buy a handful of accessories that I wanted, aka a microphone, which is probably very important, going to come out of uh, in the next fortnight, which means I won't likely be vlogging on this straight away, uh, which kind of sucks. But, um, you know, I got there. 
I went with, instead of going a kit lens, obviously I got the body only. Um, instead of going the kit lens, I did go for the 18 to 35 f1.8 Sigma lens. Um, 1.8 so I can get that big open, you know, wide aperture. And um, obviously, you know, having a low f-stop means that low light photography should be delicious. Um, also, you know, um, basically I, I hit up a mate who does videography and photography full time and said, yo, this is what I'm going to get. I actually told him I was going to get the ADD and he said, bro, just spend the extra money, get the full frame, go for the 6D. It's a good camera. Um, and it's going to last you a lot longer than the ADD based on what I know you want to do. Um, he also said, um, ignore the kit lens, which, you know, there's pros and cons of going for the kit lens. Um, and I was going to start with the kit lens, but he said, nah, mate, again, go for the Sigma 18 by 35 based on what you want to do, based on what you like. I know you'll get the right quality and everything out of it. It's a good bit of glass without, you know, breaking the budget. And yeah, of course, I got myself, I started with a Sandisk Extreme, um, you know, 128 gig just to get me started. Um, and I got a very basic low pro bag just for the camera itself. That'll go into my backpack. And basically, you know, we'll, we'll start from there. Let's let's open it up and see see what I get, yeah? Cool. So given that I don't exactly have the best space to work with and I'm, I'm so excited to open this and I didn't want to stress too much about, you know, going over all of this um, and setting it up so it was a great unboxing view. I, I'm just too excited and I keep checking the time because uh, I've, I've got like an hour um, before Taylor and I kind of need to shoot um, to go to a film and get, and get food. But I, I, I kind of wanted to get this out. I wanted to do something with it. Anyway, let's let's get into it. So, I got my kniffy, or my knife, depends how you want to pronounce it, in case I needed to break anything open. But it looks like this is all pretty straightforward. Warranty card. Um, the other thing as well is I did find a bunch of cheaper ones online, but they weren't Australian, which means uh, limited warranties and that sort of stuff. So I spent the extra bit of money so I could get the full warranty. Uh, you know, power cords for, I'm assuming, chargers. We have the charging station. I don't know what else you would call it. Same thing. Uh, battery. I've got. I'm trying to unpack it onto. See, stuff's falling all over the place. Onto my computer desk, and I didn't push my keyboard and everything back, so I'm working with limited space. Uh, the EOS 60. Like, yeah, you know, I get a strap and everything. I'm I'm that wanker that will get a new strap as quick as as quick as I possibly can because I don't want this hanging around my neck. To be to be completely honest. Um, I'm also the kind of person that doesn't like fresh new looking stuff, like to the point where I told my manager I was going to get the, the bag and like drag it through the dirt and like hang it off the back of the car or something and like drag it around the street so it looks like it's been worn. Um, because I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to go full tourist. This is so amazing. I'm so excited. We have it, folks. Canon D. Canon D. 6D Mark II. Woo! I'm so excited! Next, we got the lens. As I said, we're going Sigma. What have we got? 1835. 18 to 35. Instructions and stuff and warranties, I'm sure. Woo! This is a nice looking case. Flash. I like that. It's a nice looking, nice looking case. I'm gonna have to get some masking tape once I get a few lenses so I can work out the caps and everything. That is a heavy. I mean, it's, I'm sure there's obviously much heavier lenses out there, but that is, that's got some weight to it. We got a lens hood. Yeah, we do. Got the lens hood as well. The actual. lens itself that is this is too much guys this is this is full on like I'm a, I'm a little bit paranoid about this um, I don't I don't want to break any of it because I just spent like a heap of money on this um, and yeah so 
that's that's everything. Like, I'm not going to get too far into it. I'm going to spend a, a few days, maybe even a week or so, uh, getting my head around how to use everything and start taking some photos. I'll um, upload in the next video some photos and stuff. If you're local in the Perth area and you want to get some photos and videos done and stuff together, you want to work on some stuff, uh, you want me to try stuff because basically what I'm going to do moving forward so that I can hone in on this new craft that I'm picking up is basically trying to, and I know people might go, oh, no, 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 that, but I'm, I'm going to, I think, try and replicate a lot of work that I like, not because I, I want to do the same work as them, just as like certain photographers. It's mainly so I can understand how to use cameras, work with different lights, and just try as many things as I can and go, oh yeah, this is fun, or no, I don't really like doing this. And just try a heap of different variety until I kind of lock down what feels good for me. Um, so yeah, that's that's I think the idea. But like I don't, I'm not really planning this. I haven't really planned much of this, and that's kind of the way my workflow works. I, I'm not a big planner. I know I'm going to have to start planning, especially given that I've got some decent equipment to work with now. Um, but yeah, let's let's just roll into it. I hope you've really liked this. This is a super quick update. I just wanted to do a video. And um, I'll keep you posted and hopefully have some shots. Hit, um, I'm going to start posting, obviously, my photos and stuff to Instagram. So, ants in my eyes, Jaden. Um, come and hit me up, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Pow!